Welcome, you're listening to John Highman from Commercial Real Estate Online. The website to contact us is commercial-realestate-training.com. This is one of the many training videos that we put out for commercial real estate brokers and agents around the world when it comes to helping them with their sales, leasing and property management activity. This particular video is all about the marketing choices for better commercial real estate brokerage today, given the market conditions, the types of properties, and also the sales or leasing requirement. So, when it comes to the marketing and promotion of a commercial or retail property today, you should give your clients some choices when it comes to the promotional activity. Whilst you may know the best marketing tools to use, you can mix and match those tools to suit your client's budget and also their priorities. When the client has some choices, they are likely to consider the listing opportunity, the pitch, the presentation that you make more favourably. Given the prevailing market conditions, the property itself, the location of the property, your pitch should be geared to exactly what's going on at the moment, and indeed your marketing recommendations should be quite specific to optimise the inquiry back to the property and convert more inspections. When you get lots of inspections, you can do something with negotiations, and that's what this market is all about. It should be said that good logic and sound recommendations should be behind every marketing campaign and the choices that you provide to the client. Don't be generic. That's not what it's about. Be quite specific. Understand the market, the property and the client. Provide specific recommendations. Good logic sits behind those recommendations. As the local broker or the agent, you will understand the methods of promotion that really work. You'll understand that from the other properties that you're marketing today you can make some quite specific observations and recommendations to your client. There will be a significant difference in the marketing promotion when it comes to an open listing versus an exclusive listing. As a general rule, always focus your property presentation, your sales pitch, on an exclusive listing conversion. Open listings are totally a waste of time. You have no control over the client or the property or any inspections. And many of your competing agents will try and undermine any momentum that you're trying to create with perhaps a, a person who's going to buy the property or a tenant. So stay away from open listings unless you can see a specific opportunity that may still exist. Open listings are the way to perhaps even destroy your market, exclusive listings are the way to build your market. That's what things are all about today. So what marketing choices do you have? Let's assume that you do have an exclusive listing. You've been successful in a sales pitch with the client. In most cases you can use the following promotional tools and vary the usage in each case. Number one, a signboard on the property will always be a great value, particularly when the targeted segment of tenants or buyers are quite likely to come from the local area. The local property investors and the business proprietors are very likely to have an interest in any new listing. That is the listing that you take to the market today. As soon as you get a signboard onto the property, door knock the local area as far as the property investors and also the businesses. Talk to them. Get to know what they're about and what they've seen in the market today. Any listing that you start today with a signboard is likely to give you many good reasons to talk to others locally. So let's look at number two. The internet today is a major marketing tool for any property to be sold or leased. Most clients or tenants will research the market across the internet. It directly follows that the promotion of a property on the internet should be optimised as a priority listing. That will occur on the industry portals to give the listing a better ranking across the location, the town or the city. Now for a priority listing, for a priority ranking or a banner advertisement, there will be a fee for that process. The client should pay that extra marketing fee. It's a heavy cost and the vendor paid marketing should cover it. Number three. Newspaper advertising still has a use in the industry when it comes to property marketing. That being said, Newspapers do have a limited shelf life when it comes to inquiry generation. Within two or three days of the advertisement being placed, the inbound inquiry rate will fall away substantially. So don't rely entirely on newspapers to get the message out there. And again, don't, rely, don't put too much of your precious advertising money into newspaper advertisements. Focus on the internet. That's where people are. Number four. 
check out the methods of marketing being used by competing properties locally. You may be able to optimise your property listing around those marketing trends, those other competing listings. You may be able to compete more aggressively than those other listings by shifting the priorities of your marketing choices and promotional timing. Number five, brochures, cold calling and direct mail also have a role to play when it comes to promoting an exclusive listing. You can add to that process the email newsletter from your agency, your brokerage, and also the database that you have within the brokerage. Those people in your database will have been qualified through other campaigns, so it's worthwhile talking to them again to see if the new property listing will have an interest to them. All of these extra promotional activities will allow you to reach further out into the market to find the right people to inspect. And when you get inspections moving ahead, you've got something to work with. That's how negotiations occur. So in summary, there are some real choices to be made here when it comes to marketing a listing for sale or for lease. Look at the property, understand the client and review the local property market. Make the correct promotional choices based on all of these three elements. Design your listing for the best promotion possible. Don't be generic, be specific. So that's the end of this video. You can get more videos like this at commercial-realestate-training.com. Thanks for listening. This is John Highman signing off for now and I'll catch you on another video on YouTube soon.